thought maybe you, some of you guys, <clears throat> if any of you guys are out there, are cooks, um, thought you might like to see my my bone broth that I'm making here. Um, this has been simmering since Friday morning, and it's now Sunday morning. So I usually go three days, but <clears throat> I want to make the soup for dinner tonight, so I need the broth. But um, yeah, I uh, I'll show you here. I got some soup bones from a friend of mine. <clears throat> uh, we used to order a half cow, and we don't have the money for it this year, so uh, we didn't get any ourselves. But um, he saved us a bunch of these soup bones. And uh, <clears throat> there's about uh, about eight pounds of soup bones inside this pot, or there was. I guess it's And used up quite a bit. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I bring it to a boil and simmer it for about two to three days and uh, it makes some really really good broth. Right now I'm just uh, getting whatever juices I can out of the remaining. Um, I will post a uh, link to the recipe that I use. Um, this stuff turns out really good um, if you have the patience, and it's really healthy because um, when you s if you put some uh, vinegar in there, which makes it slightly acidic, and let it uh, simmer for a couple days, it actually dissolves a lot of the nutrients from the bones. So it's extremely healthy stuff. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll uh, turn this off a minute and come back with you and show you. What it looks like strained. Please God, fall. Please God, fall. Please, oh God, please. You can see here where all the marrow used to be inside the bone has come out. That's the good part. The marrow sort of really makes the soup tasty. Here's where having a potato ricer is uh, handy because you can literally squeeze the juices out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that would have been just thrown away probably. <clears throat> I'd like to get as much out as I can. Okay, so now I filtered it once through the potato ricer. And uh, I'm going to filter it back into the pot through this colander. Okay, I've got that filtered pretty good now. See all the schmuck that comes out of it. Now, so what I'll do now is, since I want to make soup for dinner tonight, and it's already afternoon. Why are you not focusing? There you go. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'm going to take this pot and throw it out in the snow. Uh, I want this to cool down so that uh, the tallow will harden on the top and I can skim that off and then it'll be a nice uh, low fat broth. So I'll come back at you. Alright, well, I uh, let that sit in the snowbank for a couple hours. Let's see, the time is now that. And I've rendered all that tallow. Now I can just scoop it out. Mm, fat. Hey, we got all the tallow out of the broth, or most of it anyways. I got about a gallon in there. Some veggies cut up. I did some time in a uh, in a professional kitchen at a country club a couple summers. One thing I learned was you save your vegetable scraps. Throw them in a bag in the freezer. When you go to make some stock, it's good to have. <clears throat> All right, get my soup started. I'm going to uh, simmer those onions until they clear up. And in the meantime, I got some steak for my uh, 
beef soup. I'm gonna throw a little bit of tallow in the pan. And uh, fry those steaks up. Um, I'm gonna brown them anyway. That's what this tallow is good for if you want to keep it. I keep a little baggie of it in my freezer. You can use it to fry anything. It tastes pretty good compared to butter. So, I don't know. I don't waste much when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, let this be my official call out. Uh, um, my friend Dave, uh, also known as Chef Tush, um, we want to see some cooking videos, sir. I know you're the man with the cooking skills in the garage gang, so let's see what you got, man. Give us a video of something awesome that we can cook at home. I know, uh, <clears throat> I know, uh, industrial or professional kitchens kind of work a little bit differently than home kitchens. I remember when, uh, I was working at that country club, our stock pots were, I don't know, two or three feet high. Um, and mine is, mine at home is not that big, but if you got any uh, secrets or awesome recipes you can share with us, Tush, please do. The garage game likes food. All right, let's get the soup going. All right. Oh, we got our broth in. Our onions got, uh, semi-translucent. We added some carrots and a tablespoon of flour before putting in the broth. It's going to come up to a boil. Those babies have got to cool down and i got to slice them up or cube them and then into the pot. Oh yeah, we got some beef noodle soup. Huh? Mm. How's the soup in? Good. Good. How's the soup? I ate toast. <laughs> good toast. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.